Today we'll show you how to install your camouflage rocker panel kit. This is a simple process so don't be intimidated. By following these simple steps you're sure to be on your way to customizing your ride. Here is a list of items you'll need for a successful installation. 70% isopropyl alcohol, paper towel, measuring tape, scotch tape, scissors, exacto knife, heat gun or torch, and squeegee. Step 1. Cleaning the vehicle. Cleaning is one of the most important steps. Do not get impatient with the cleaning process. This is vital to getting the most life expectancy out of your rocker panel kit. Step 2. Measuring the placement. Use a tape measure to measure from a squared body line or molding the desired location where you want the top of the graphic to rest. Be sure to pencil in several measurements to ensure a straight and square install. Step 3. Laying the vinyl. Start by taping the camel strip in line with your measurements and then tape the graphic in the desired location by laying small strips of scotch tape above your measurements. Allow 4-5 to five inches of excess vinyl in the wheel well to ensure proper coverage. Once the graphic is taped on straight, we are going to do what is called the hinge method of installation. By placing a piece of scotch tape vertically down the center of the piece of vinyl, we can now peel back one side of the graphic while the other side of the vinyl stays in place. Peel back and cut the paper backing away from the graphic and lightly tack the vinyl to the rocker panel. Run your squeegee horizontally to set the top of the vinyl in place, working the air downward. Repeat the same process on the other side. If there are any contours, make sure you work the vinyl into the concaved area before setting the lower areas. Take your heat gun and apply a small amount of heat to the edge of the graphic and slowly stretch it around the contour of the wheel well. You'll find it is simple to line up King's non-repetitive patterns. Overlap your second strip on top of the already installed strip and repeat previous instruction. Step 4. Cutting the vinyl. Trimming out the vinyl correctly is critical to achieving a clean looking install. Be sure your exacto blade is sharp. Simply hold your knife on a 45 degree angle and trim away excess vinyl. When cutting in between the cabin bed or doors, be sure to cut the vinyl directly down the middle, allowing enough excess vinyl to wrap inside both panels or around doors. You can use your heat gun to help the tucked in vinyl contour better to tight spaces. The wonderful thing about installing camouflage vinyl is that there are no rules. You can customize your kit any way you wish with a little imagination and scotch tape. Here you'll see Mike is going to give this truck a custom look by knocking out just a few simple inches of the camel pattern. He does this by applying strips of scotch tape in a desired location. This step is for experienced installers only as you could damage your vehicle's clear coat of paint. It is recommended to use a brand new knife and ever so lightly apply pressure to the vinyl. Here we are not actually going to cut through the vinyl, but rather score the vinyl.
He then carefully removes the unwanted strips by pulling in a downward motion following the scored lines. 